So welcome back everyone, Mike here, and here comes Melissa. A while back we did a video where we counted the growth rings on a real big oak tree, had kind of a little history lesson there, it was very interesting, and we're going to do that again with that uh, big oak that fell down at the pond. I just brought a big slab up here, and what I did, I sanded it down a little bit. Uh, you can see the rings a little bit better when you do that. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is we'll count them, we'll mark it all up, and then I'll seal with anchor seal and probably leave it just sit for about a year to try to slow down the drying process some because these oaks are really prone to crack whenever they're cut, you know, in pieces this thick, something like that. So that's the plan, but yeah, it should be pretty interesting. All right, as I said, this is a red oak. Now this one's almost the same diameter as the last one that we did a video on. Uh, but it is nowhere near as old as that other one. You can see how far the growth rings are spread out on this one. They don't get real tight till they get in here. But uh, we'll start counting and we'll see where we're at. This one measures, it's 32 inches right there. At the widest point, it's about 43 inches, something like that. So Melissa, are we older than this uh, tree? No. <laughs> But I have something to say. What? Would you look at that? <laughs> it's wood. Wood. Oh, I get it now. I didn't understand. All right, I'm going to start on this end here. But as we get closer to the center, they get a little kind of screwy right here. I think I'll circle around the other side and come in here. You can really see them in there. Stan, can you count Stanley? He's here to learn. All right, we're going to start here at the outside. Oh, when I did that last one, there was like three comments people said, you should have started in the center and worked your way out. And they actually got me there for a second. But if you think about that, that's not going to work. You're not going to know where you're at. Yeah, you could start counting rings and you could count them. But as far as putting a timeline on here, you have no idea. So we're doing it the right way. We're starting out here at the end. I was one of those people. Stanley, what are you kind of in the way here, Stan? What are you doing? Nothing smells better than a Sharpie. So we're at 2019 right here. So we got one, two, three. Right there is when we uploaded our first YouTube video. That's 2018, 2017, 2016. Dan, give me some. First YouTube. You high five me? We'll put OWTM for Outdoors With the Morgans. Oh, he bites me just trying to high five him. Look. Stan doesn't like you to touch his paws. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen years ago is when YouTube actually first went online. 15, 16, 17, 18. That was September 11th attacks. And that was 18 years ago. So you got 19, 20, 21. 21 years ago was when uh, John Glenn returned to space at the age of 77 years old to fly on the space shuttle. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You know what happened 28 years ago, Melissa? Mike made the best decision of his life. I made, I did, actually. We got married 28 years ago. I made my best, best and worst decision. Best and <laughs> 29, 30, 31. That's when you graduated high school, Melissa. So that's 31. 32, 33, 34, 35 years ago, that's when I graduated high school, 1984. The 80s were great, weren't they? Did you like the 80s, Melissa? I did. Bring them back. She had the huge hair. All right. So we got 36, 37, 38, 39, and... Yeah, 39 years ago. Guess what happened 39 years ago? Not, people will remember this when I say it. But in 1980, 
That was the miracle on ice. That's when a bunch of amateur American hockey players beat the Soviets, which was a really big deal back in 1980 Olympics. If you're into hockey, which we do enjoy hockey. So we've got 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 years ago. Guess what happened 48 years ago? No more cigarette ads on TV. Do you remember cigarette ads when you were a kid? I was born 49 years ago, so no, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> That's true. You would have been one year old then. I know, right? Did you have some say in that or something? <laughs> That's why I was pausing. I don't think I've ever saw one. I've seen people on shows smoke. No smoke ads. Yeah, 1970. That's when Melissa was born. So you don't put any of our kids on there. Yeah, they're way out here. 50 years ago, that's when uh, the United States entered the Vietnam War. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. 67 years ago was when the U.S. entered the Korean War. Now I'm going to loop around to this other side here because they get really tight after that. Okay, so he just took this ring and followed it around to this side. And yeah, because I can come in. count them a little bit better right there. Right, I was just explaining. Cause... So that's 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 78. That was the, uh, 78 years ago was Pearl Harbor. I need my Sharpie. This tree was just a little guy. Yeah. When we were attacked at Pearl Harbor. So that was 78 years ago. Boy, they are so tight right here. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. I'm thinking this tree is only 88 years old, uh, which is amazing for a red oak, as how much this thing is. grew. It had some good nourishment. It did. Look at the size of that. Red oaks usually, but if you look, I don't know how well you can see. Some of these growth rings in these good years, they're, they're over a quarter inch apart out here. Yeah. Once you get down in here, I mean, they're sixteenths and thirty seconds apart when it was real young. But yeah, 88 years old. And actually, 88 years ago, I had some more dates uh, ready to go, but 88 years ago was when uh, President Hoover approved the Star, Stang Star Spangled Banner as the national anthem 88 years ago, which was right after the start of the Great Depression, which was in 1929. Uh, and guess when the first steel chainsaw was made? Do you have any idea, Melissa? Uh, 1927. 1926, you're very oh, close. That was just a guess. In 1927 is when the first television was invented. Oh yeah? Probably because guys had so much more time because they had a chainsaw in 26, so they needed something ah, to do with their spare time. Those big cabinets they put TVs in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the tree is 88 years old. Nice. It is big. I, I But I can't believe. It was bigger. I mean, older. Yeah, I thought for sure this would be older. I yeah. did. It's only 88 years old. A red oak. Like I said, right here. That other one wasn't much bigger. And it was 206 years old. We're like 42 inches across right here. There's a white oak across the road that's just ginormous across from our house. It's probably five feet, six feet oh, across. That, you know? It's got to be 300 plus. If that thing ever falls over, I'll be over there with the 880 cutting a slab off of it. That would be pretty cool. 
So yeah, what I think I'll do with this one is uh, we're gonna coat it in anchor seal and then there are already a few cracks in it but from everything I'm reading, you're not gonna stop those big ones that come right from the center but I can slow down the drying on the rest of it. We'll wait about a year, I'll kind of redo this, make it nice and maybe uh, cut it down a little bit, make a table out of it or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty nice. But yeah, 88 years old for a red oak. That thing was huge for actually being that young, yeah. really. It really is. Your grandma lived longer than that tree. Yeah, my grandma was born in 1918. Yeah. So she was around before that tree was. But um, this is a really good idea. We've had plenty of teachers and history majors contact us saying what a good idea it is. So. I yeah, think it's this kind is of an, something that's really interesting. Yeah, it's a neat way to look back at things. It really is. Like stuff like this, you can see really how insignificant things are. This is where we uploaded our first YouTube video, right, right there. And that was not even quite three years ago. It was two and a half years ago. September 11th, this tree grew a bunch since then. Yep. When we were married, Melissa, that tree was... Uh, let me think. So when we were married, it was only this big. Yeah, it was probably about 18, 19 inches in diameter when we were married. Man, we've been married a while. But then two years later, we had Hunter, and the next year, we had Levi, and two years after that, two was Hannah. But after 9/11, it was two more years before we had Eva. Yeah, Eva was. Or wait. Uh, it was 2000, she was born in 2004, so it was three years after that. Yep. So this tree was this big when Eva was born. Yeah, not much different. wonder why they move out like on... Mm -hmm. So I was way off on this tree. I was thinking it was around 150 years old, something like that, but it's only 88 years old. Uh, you have anything to add today? It's kind of like me. People are off on my age all the time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks.